Introduction to Batteries Structure and Working Principle of a Battery In this section, we will introduce the structure and working principle of a battery. As an example, consider the most widely used AGM lead acid battery. Its main components are a positive plate, negative plate, electrolyte, battery separator, and battery chute. It also has other components such as terminals, bus bar, safety valve, etc. Due to the sealing requirements, the VRLA battery cannot generate much gas during charging and only a very small amount of internal gas that cannot be consumed is exhausted. The safety valve is a key component of VRLA, which prevents the internal pressure from growing too high. Its quality directly affects the battery life. When the accumulated internal gas pressure in the battery reaches the opening pressure threshold of the safety valve, the valve opens and discharges excess gas to re reduce the pressure. This one-way discharge prevents external gas from entering and accelerates the self-discharge of the battery. Group bar. Plates used to connect the same polarity. Its function is to connect fixed plates and conduct electricity. A plate is composed of active substances that react within the battery. A plate can be positive or negative. They are composed of active substances and plate grids, and there is a separator between the positive and negative plates, as shown in the following figures. Active substances for the positive and negative plates are lead dioxide and gray sponge lead, respectively. The battery separator has the following functions. Insulate the positive and negative plates from each other to prevent short circuit. Absorb electrolyte. Ensure the electrolyte does not flow. And ensure the negative plate is damp. Ensure the battery works normally when standing upright or on its side. Serve as the gas channel. Many small holes in the battery separator facilitate oxygen movement from the positive plate to the negative plate. Slow the disconnection of active substances to ensure battery life. The electrolyte, a pure solution of sulfuric acid and water, is absorbed in the battery separator to conduct electricity and participate in the electrochemical reaction. The battery chute houses electrolyte, battery plate, battery separator, and accessories. For example, there is a positive terminal, negative terminal and exhaust unit in a VRLA battery. The battery chute must be made of materials resistant to corrosion, vibration, and extremely high or low temperatures. Terminal voltage changes during charging and discharging. Charging. At the beginning, the terminal voltage of the storage battery increases dramatically along the OA curve. After point A, the terminal voltage increase slows down at A, B, B, C. After the battery is 90% charged, as a side effect, separated hydrogen ions begin being produced more rapidly at the anode. At this time, the terminal voltage reaches point D and both terminals are separating out hydrogen. Discharging. The terminal voltage of the storage battery decreases significantly along the OE curve. The discharge voltage drops slowly from point E to point G. As it discharges, active substances on the positive and negative terminals gradually become lead sulfate. The generation of lead sulfate reduces the holes in the active substances. This makes it more difficult for sulfuric acid to enter the micropores, leading to poor conductivity of lead sulfate. This, in turn, increases the internal battery resistance, causing the terminal voltage to drop dramatically after point G to the required 
second end of the discharge voltage. That's all for this section. Thanks for watching.